What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showcasing Raging Bolt with this Regulation F team. Should be a lot of fun considering Raging Bolt is a brand new Pokemon just released in an Indigo disc. And from what everybody is saying, this Pokemon is supposed to be top tier in the meta. I looked at its stats, it has high special attack, high HP and all around just great stats in its other categories. On top of that, it has great typing with Electric and Dragon and it is a Paradox Pokemon. And what that means is it has access to Protosynthesis, a top tier ability when pairing it up with Booster Energy, just like what we're doing today. You can throw in Rage Bolt, the Booster Energy is gonna pop and you're gonna get a free stat boost turn one of the match. Rage Bolt also has access to a brand new move called Thunderclap and from my understanding, it is a first turn priority move that works basically just like Sucker Punch. The opponent has to be attacking you in order for it to go first. And on top of that, it's base 70 power with stab. Cannot go wrong with that. That seems OP and super, super strong. Rage Bolt also has access to Calm Mind for that special defense and special attack boost. And then we gave it Thunderbolt and Protect. Should be a fun one. This Pokemon is also like a dinosaur, brontosaurus, giraffe kind of thing. And I really like its design. So I'm super excited to be using it. Definitely super excited to be using it. But uh, another regulation F Pokemon on this squad is going to be Incineroar. You're going to be seeing Incineroar a ton of time in regulation F. So uh, get used to it. It's going to be able to fake out. You can lead it with Raging Bolt instead of Combine, or you can also lead a Pokemon like Ninetales on this team. A low in Ninetales, I should say. Set up Aurora Bell, help the team be a lot more bulkier, and allow Raging Bolt to set up Combine. No problem. We have ni one nice little support Pokemon, and that is going to be Amoongus with Regenerator and Rock Helmet. And obviously, it's there to put Pokemon to sleep and redirect moves with Rage Powder. Last two Pokemon on the squad is going to be Landorus and Urshfu, two great physical and special attackers for back end support. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. But again, Main base of this video is going to be the showcase Rage and Bolt, so um, hopefully we get to do that today. But uh, if you guys do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you leave a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, join the Genius community, click that big red subscribe button, so you do not miss out on any of my Regulation F content. But uh, with that out of the way, let's get started here with the battles. Something I totally forgot to mention in the team preview was a huge shout out to the team creator, Dragonair Jordan. Thank you so much for making this Raging Bolt team. Super excited to be using it. And hopefully I get to showcase it and do it enough justice. But um, the first match is here and we're going up against a Hydrapple and the brand new legendary turtle Pokemon that is super, super scary. Hydrapple is a Pokemon that I will be showcasing very, very soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. But on top of that, the team that we're versing has Tornadus, King Gambit and uh, Fluttermane and Ogre Pond. So more of a regulation E team than anything with two regulation F Pokemon. But what I wanna do here is definitely lead Raging Bolt. I think Raging Bolt is such a good Pokemon. It's gonna be super effective on the most. On top of that, we could set up Calm Mind if we want to, because they do have a few special attackers on hand. Um, I could go Ninetales here if I want to as well. Maybe set up an Aurora Veil. And I'm kind of lean towards that, but my only problem would be if they bring in Tornadus. They can either taunt me, they could go into a rain dance if that's a possibility. So I don't know if I want to lead it. Do I want to lead Incineroar instead? Maybe not because they do have King Gambit. You know what? I'm going to go for the Ninetales here. So I'm going to go Ninetales. I'm going to bring Urshfu in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go late game Incineroar or late game Lando? Or maybe just Amoongus. I kind of like Amoongus. I kind of like having a little bit of support on the squad. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's lock it down. Let's let's grab ourselves one here in match number one, showcasing Raging Bolt in uh in the regulation F format. But I hope they bring Hydrapple. I really hope they don't bring that legendary turtle. Because I did fight it off screen a couple times. And it's just too strong. Like I don't even think it's part of the format because it is a legendary Pokemon. I don't I don't think it is. I don't believe it is. That's a stellar terror type, which is pretty cool. It is definitely a pretty cool thing to see. But I wonder who they're gonna go into here. I'm kinda hoping not to announce, right? I'm kind of hoping not to an Odyssey. It's going to be Hydrapple and King Gambit. Something we love. We love. Because, one, I'm four times super effective on a Hydrapple. Two, Hydrapple's a cool new Pokemon. And three, we can set up Aurora Bell with no problem here, right? A no problem Aurora Bell. So our special attack is through the roof. Do I set up a Calm Mind here? Hydrapple probably has... I'm trying to think what moves Hydrapple has. Definitely has a drag move. Definitely has a ground move. I might just terrestrialize you here. Set up the Calm Mind. That's going to be my play. Um, and on top of that, I'm just going to go Aurora Bell. Set up the lovely Aurora Bell. If King Gambit ends up taking me out with like Iron Head or something, that's fine. Ninetales is pretty much just here to set up the Aurora Bell. So we're going to set up the Aurora Bell. We're going to get after it. Hydrapple looks so cool. I think it looks so cool. I really do. It's just 
Really cool. Adds to the Apple family. In the past two gens, we have like six apples now. Which I absolutely love. But I'm going to put my Brontosaurus slash Giraffe into a Grass type. And we're going to try to set up this Combine boost. Warvel comes out here completely free. Which we love. And we'll see what they want to do. Anything but a Swords Dance on the King Gambit would be fine, right? Anything but a Swords Dance on the Gambo. So Aurora Bell gets it up. We get the Combine boost as well. I could see the Dragon going for a Dragon move, right? Iron Head's going to come out here. That's totally fine. We can die out to that. Was that a crit? It wasn't a crit. You're just hitting like a truck. And Mr. Hydra Apple, what are you going for? Oh my god, yo. It's so cool. He goes for a Fickle Beam. That's his brand new Dragon move. And that thing is cool. Cannot wait to showcase that. But from here... I could just go into Gambit. Um, I could just go into Amoongus here as well. Amoongus is going to be my play. So from here, I'm going to leave... Actually, do I leave the Hydra Apple on the field? Or do I attack the Hydra Apple? Because I could just go for Thunderbolts here, which I'm going to do. I'm going to Thunderbolt you, and... I'm just going to Rage Batter. Actually, I'm just going to Palm Puff here. I'm just going to HP recover my Raging Bolt. That's definitely my best bet, right? Just keep this thing alive as long as I can. And on top of that, just keep attacking and doing damage onto these guys. So Hydrapple's a little bit of a threat to us just because of its typing. But if I get some more combine boost here, we should be fine. Thunderbolt's gonna come through onto the King Gambit and just dump on it. Raging Bolt getting after it early here. Getting after it early. He's gonna pollen puff and he's just gonna attack me. That's totally fine because guess what? I'm pollen puffing my Raging Bolt as well, and I'm giving it its HP back. So take that. So take that. Massive. Massive. Back up to full HP. 220 behind Aurora Veil and a Combine Boost. So depending on who they throw out here, I might set up another Combine Boost. But they're going to go into this little booger. They're going to go into this guy. And I think from here, I think it's an absolute must to just protect this thing. And throw you to sleep. I don't, I don't want to deal with this thing. So I'm going to sport it. I'm going to sport. I am going to sport the turtle. Turtle, right? Shell Pokemon? He's got a stellar terror type here, right? Correct? Yes. And he's going to have 50 different typings ready to go. Thing is terrifying. <laughs> it is so scary. Terraform Zero. Again, I don't really know too much about this thing. All I know is it goes crazy. So I'm going to protect my Rage Bolt. I'm going to say, yo, let's slow this thing down. We got to put this thing to sleep. Terra Star Storm is going to come out here. I don't like that one bit. Terra Star Storm coming after me. How much damage is this going to do? You better not be able to KO my Amoongus with this. Okay, Amoongus soaks really well. Fickle Beam comes in here as well. We're able to soak that up. Spore comes out here, and we say Night Night to him. All right, so we put him to sleep. I think from here, we just start attacking... The Hydrapple with... With the what's it called? Wait, is that neutral? Yeah, because I'm going to Thunderbolt into that turtle. And I'm just going to start attacking Hydrapple with my Amoongus. Considering we have Urshfu in the back end. I don't know how much damage I can really do here. But I think this that was a solid turn for us. Let that thing... Because we knew that thing was Traslazin. We had to let that thing attack us and just put that thing to sleep. And now let my Raging Bolt get after it. Just not trying to deal with it. But there's Hydra Apple looking so cool. This guy's slumped. Beautiful. Thunderbolt's going to fly through here. Hit it up. Nice. That's, some, that's beautiful damage. Fickle Beam's going to fly through here. And we're soaking, dude. We're so bulky. Just a good Terra type on this thing. Palm Puff doing some good damage. On top of that, we're going to Thunderbolt yet again. And I'm just going to go for another Palm Puff here. Keep doing some damage onto this Hydra Apple. Because I have Urshfu in the back end. Not doing that much damage. And you're going to wake up? What? Wake up that quickly? Please soak. Okay, cool. Cool. I know Terra Star Storm is super effective onto every Pokemon that is Terrastalized. That's a really cool move. But we get rid of it, taking a little bit of damage. Um, I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. I'm going to be able to go for... Oh, he goes for a Palm Puff here. And it's going to fail. So he was trying to heal up its Pokemon, which is massive. So we get off another Palm Puff on that thing. Doing some good damage. So I think from here, Hydrapple's low enough HP where I can take it out when I want to. So I'm thinking of just Rage Powdering next shots and having Raging Bolt 
attack whoever they throw out on this right side. They don't have uh, Terra type. You do have Fluttermane here, and yeah, the Rage Powder is definitely the call here. I could Thunder, I could go for a Thunderclap, but I think Thunderbolt does a bit more damage. So while we have Amoongus on the field, we might as well just use its support and just get an extra base 20 out of it. So yeah, Rage Powder, get after it. Thunderbolt, Raging Bolt, to just lighten it up today. I'm loving it. I'm loving this Pokemon. And I feel like I showcased it so well in this match. Put up the Roar Bell, put up the Calmite, and then just start getting after it. Because again, its special attack is already ridiculous high. Add the booster energy to it, add all the stab boost. It's just going crazy. So we Rage Power the shot. Moonblast can come in here. Amoongus soaks that, no problem. Rage Bolt should probably be able to one shot a Fluttermane, right? Oh my god, and we get a crate. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. And Hydrapple's the final Pokemon. Not really doing too much, especially with the typings that we have on the field. Fickle Beam comes out here. <laughs> we are just lighting this thing up. I'm going to go for Thunderclap, which is its brand new move. And on top of that, if they want to go for something else, we're just going to heal up our Raging Bolt. But I believe they canceled the match. Hopefully not, because I kind of want to see Thunderclap do some work. Brand new move. Like I said, works like Sucker Punch. Base 70 power. Looking awesome. Looking awesome. With Stab. With Stab. With the Stab boost. So they end up staying in here, and he is going for a different move here. He's going for a recover. That's totally fine. You can go for recover all you want. Well, I should just went for Thunderbolt. I would have just KO'd him, but that's fine. I'll just heal up my Raging Bolt at this point. And now look at me. Back to 209 HP. And now you're definitely getting a Thunderbolt right to the mid. So I'll go Thunderbolt. I will go Palm Puff here. I wish I could sport, but it is a grass type apple. <laughs> grass type dragon apple. And I can't believe this dude's staying in this match. Like, you are not KOing another one of my Pokemon. I still think Raging Bolt, even with the not very effective shot, will do a huge chunk of damage on the on this thing. Unless you're bested. You could be bested. No, you're not bested. Oh, wow. You're actually... You actually soak pretty well. Fickle Beam comes out here, and it does double damage. I think it's a 30% chance of doing double damage. Well, it's fine. I have I have my boy in the back end. Auravel's gone. You're not winning this match. He did KO a Pokemon when I said he wasn't, but you're not winning this match. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. So from here, I'm going to go for a Calm Mind Boost. I'm going to drop a close combat here. The reason I'm going to start Calm Mind Boosting is because this thing is actually soaking up my Rage Bull shots really well. So I'm just going to start boosting my Calm Mind, have my special attack go through the roof. You want to play these games? I'll Calm Mind Boost. You are not KOing me. Unless you crit me. Oh, if you crit me with like a massive Fickle Beam, it's going to be a problem. Syrup Bump comes through here, and we soak that up. You're going to slow me down a little bit. But I still think Urshfu might outspeed. That's fine. We're going to go for Thunderbolt here. Thunderbolt should be able to do enough here and close combat on top of that. And Urshfu is just outspeeding. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number one. Actually, a long, drawn-out match. But Raging Bolt getting after it. Let's go hop to match number two. Let's continue this tear. That first match was actually pretty long. It was actually really long for a nice little casual match. But super excited I got to be showcased with Raging Bolt and just dominating that match with it. setting up the combines getting off the thunderbolts getting after it that way but match number two is here and we're going up against another pokemon that i think is going to be really good in the meta actually another two pokemon that i think are going to be really good in the meta one is going to be kingdra the other is going to be metagross they have hydrapple which we just seen in the last battle and they're also rocking out with tornadus real boom and ogre pond the ogi pond every time i say ogre pond it makes me want to watch shrek because shrek's just like a good at movie and he's an ogre and I love that movie. You know what, dude? I'm watching Shrek later. You guys should do the same. Shrek is hilarious. But um, back to the action. Um, a Pokemon I think I should maybe lead would be Incineroar. But uh, physical attackers, they're kind of lacking in it. And then one of their physical attackers has clear body. So Intimidate. Are we really going to be that good? Are we really going to be that good? Uh, I could go into maybe like Lando here. Or I could go Amoongus and maybe just start throwing people to sleep. Amoongus with you, maybe Rage Powder, Calm Mind Boost. Could be gnarly. Could be gnarly. And that's I'm, I'm gonna give that a try. I'm gonna give that a try. I think maybe in the back end, Nine Tails could be solid. And then last but not least, Urshfu or Lando. And if they're gonna set up the rain, Urshfu would be good, but I think Lando's gonna be a little bit better just because Rillaboom is such a huge threat on the field. So I'm gonna lock in Lando with the Life Orb, with the Sheer Force. Can't really go wrong with that. 
But this team actually seems like it's going to be tough to play up against because they have just so many different options. They got the rain they can go into. They got Tornadus just with the Tailwind they can go into. They can set up other Pokemon such as Ogre Pond. There's a, a lot of different options here for them. And for me, not really too many options. I got Rage and Bolt. And hopefully that's enough. <laughs> hopefully that's enough. But they're going to end up throwing out Tornadus alongside with Metagross. So good thing I did not lead my Intimidate Pokemon. I'm able to get out of Moongus here though. Which I really like. Um, Combine could be good here. I could go for Combine Spore. What moves does Metagross usually rock? EQ, right? Ice Punch, yeah. A lot of options. You know what? I'm going to Spore you. And I'm going to Terra and Combine. I'm going to Terra Combine. I understand I'm going into Grass with a Flying type on the field. I understand that. But with the Combine boost, I feel like we should get a bit bulkier here. And start to get after it. So, I'm going straight Grass here. Because I do believe a Tailwind is setting up here. Or maybe even a Rain Dance. I don't I don't really know. One or the other. One or the other seems like to play. I could actually Thunderclap next turn. Get that first turn priority move going. And there's a Tailwind. So Tailwind comes out and about. That's silly fine. Metagross. What are you going for? You are going for the EQ. So I read the EQ move. Or Ice Punch. I thought it was going for either or. And I'm able to soak pretty well here. Really well. So I get off a nice little combine boost at the expense of about 10 HP. And on top of that, Amoongus, do a little wiggle action. Do a little wiggle action. Night, night Metagross. I'm not going to spam Spore. I'm not that player, but this was a good time to actually Spore. And a nice little Amoongus lead here. So from here, I am a little scared of Tornadus and what it can actually do. So you know what? I am just going to... I'm just going to pump off you, and honestly, I think you go for a Bleak Wind Storm, so I feel free to Thunderclap, actually. I'm not going to do that. And it works out perfectly. You are going for a Bleak Wind Storm. We're able to Thunderclap. Get rid of that thing, no problem. Raging Bolt, dude. <laughs> this thing's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's nasty. It's gnarly. Pomp Puff's going to come through here. We're just looking to chuck up a little bit of damage, and that's pretty much what we do. I should have just healed up my Rage of Bull at that point. But they go into the next Pokemon, which is going to be Rollaboom, and Fake Out is ready to go. Um, I mean, at this point, I could double protect. I'm just going to Palm Puff you and just go into a Protect here, or I could Calm Mind Boost in case they... Yeah, I'm going to go for Calm Mind Boost just in case they want to Fake Out the Moongus. No, they just cancel battle. So Rage and Bolt making people rage quit in match number two. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in the third match. I'm having too much fun with Raging Bolt at the moment. Two matches in, two victories. Raging Bolt fully showcasing match number one. And then making our opponent quit with a nice little hard read of a uh, Bleak Wind Storm. So we went into Thunderclap took out our opponent and uh they were just like nah i'm done cancel the battle and quit from there but we are hopping into our final battle and we got a little mirror matchup raging bolt versus raging bolt they also have incineroar just like us but on top of that they have a few other regulation f pokemon that i think are going to be in the meta whimsicott is one of them amazing support pokemon with tailwind and prankster can't really go wrong with that and then porygon too i think it's going to be a huge threat in the trick room game they also have latios or not latios latias and Electivire for their final Pokemon. But from here, no weather control screams to me set up that Aurora Veil. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up Aurora Veil and bring in the Raging Bolt yet again. This video is all about Raging Bolt, so I'm going to use it as much as I possibly can. In the back end, Lando is going to be a beautiful option, super effective onto three of those Pokemon with just its ground moves. And uh, last but not least, Urshfu or Incineroar. I think we need a bit more attack, especially with Porygon 2 on the field. So I'm going to go Urshfu here and just say Instant War, hang out in the back, watch this one, and uh, looking for that 3-0 record. Looking for that 3-0 record. So in this matchup, I think it's going to be pretty simple for us to do what we did in match number one, set up that beautiful Aurora Veil, and on top of that, just pop the Calm Mind. Given that Calm Mind boost is just so good behind Aurora Veil, I just love this team. I just love this team, and I love Raging Bolt. It's just filthy. It's just nasty. It's not playing around. It's not playing around. But they go Electivire alongside with P2. Could pop Trick Room. Aurora Veil screaming. It's screaming at me right now. Aurora Veil is just screaming at me. So Electivire is actually kind of scary. And the reason I say Electivire is kind of scary is because I believe it learns so many different moves. I believe it learns like EQ... Fire Punch, Ice Punch, 
all that stuff. But I'm not going to Thrasalize yet. I kind of want to see what it's going to do here. It's definitely scaring me. But Aurora Bell, so free right here. That's why I led to Ninetale. It's just too perfect to actually not do. And again, yes, yeah, the Ice Punch, this thing is ripping. It's ripping here. I shouldn't have Calm Mind boosted. I shouldn't have Calm Mind boosted. I'm going to protect this turn. I'm going to slow them down. I'm going to slow them down. I should go into a Trick Room with P2. Discharge. Motor Drive. Oh my lord. So Discharge coming out here. Um, I definitely want to go into the Icy Wind here. And slow them down. And just protect here. And just protect. Another Ice Punch will probably KO me. It's cutting it close. So I'm just going to protect here. Hopefully this thing's not going for another Discharge. And I can Icy Wind this turn and next turn. And just slow it down enough. For me to actually get off some damage. I knew Electivire was a little bit of a problem. Just for a rock slide here. Now do I Terra? Now do I Terra? Is now the turn to Terra? Is now potentially the turn to Terra? I can't hit it with an electric move. I cannot, but I get off a big time block here. I do get off a big time block. I am going to go for another Icy Wind. Just keep slowing that thing down. And I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. Look, look to do some damage on the P2, right? That's fine. Electifier is going to protect this turn. That's actually massive. As long as my Ninetale stays alive, you actually give some value out onto my Raging Bolt. I'm surprised they didn't just keep the pressure up here. That's fine. P2 dodged the Icy Wind. Eh, that's alright. Thunderbolt's going to fly through here. How much damage are we doing? P2 soaks rather well. Is Shadow Ball going to come across here? Is Shadow Ball KOing us, or do I get another turn? Oh my lord, no damage at all. <laughs> no damage at all. From here, Icy Wind again. Um... And I'm just going to protect here. I think... Ah, uh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to protect? Because there's a slim possibility that P2 actually protects here. Not a slim possibility, a big possibility. So I'm just going to protect my Raging Bolt. I'm just going to say, yo, let me throw up this little protect. And we'll see what P2 wants to do. Is he protecting as well? He's not. He's not. So I could have just taken it out. I could have just taken it out. I think another Rock Slide might come through here. I don't really know, but I get the speed drop on both of them again, which is huge. Ice Punch flying through here. So Protects are just popping here. They're popping. Protects are popping. Ends up going for another Discharge, and he is now minus one on speed. Right? You should be minus one. So I see wins you a good bit. If you're if you're minus one, I might throw a Moonblast and Electivire. But if you're even, let's see. Which you are, I have to throw another Icy Wind because I know you outspeed me. Or I can do this. Or I can go Moonblast in the Thunderclap for the KO. And I like that. I like that the best. I like that the best. P2 has just been attacking this whole matchup. So, and of course it protects this turn. <laughs> Not the last turn. That's kind of upsetting because my Raging Bolt probably dies out to the shot, right? Surprised you protect this turn. I could have sworn the last turn you would have protected. The Moonblast comes in hot here. Not bad damage. We like that damage. An Ice Punch. KO on me. It's not. We'd love that. We'd love that. He's going to lose some Life Orb damage. And the Snow is gone. So we only have a few turns left in a War Bell. Let's be honest here. I'm just going to go Moonblast and throw a Thunderbolt in this slot. Because if you want to swap P2, instead of going for Thunderclap, we can still get off some damage with Thunderbolt. And we'll see. We'll, we'll see here. We'll see. We'll see. They, dude, this has been like five turns already. This, these matches are great. These are some solid matches. But Electivire, finally out of the picture. We don't have to deal with that for the rest of the match. Um, we're going to say bye-bye to P2 as well. P2, get on out of here. Raging Pool picking up, I think, like its 15th KO today. Not being serious, but he has a lot of KOs today. <laughs> he has just been ripping. <laughs> he has just been ripping. And we have a Roar Veil for, I believe, like two more turns. And they're going to throw out Latias. Now, Latias is one of those Pokemon, cool shiny, first of all. But who can learn Tailwind? That's a little bit of an issue. They have Incineroar out here. I think this is a just a smart turn for us to just protect. And maybe try to get off an Icy Wind. Ooh, I would love a nice little Icy Wind. I would love to slow them down. So I'm going to go Icy Wind. I'm just going to protect the Bolt. Because I believe Fake Out is an option to go into the Bolt. And everyone has just been attacking the Bolt all day long. So we go Protect. Icy Wind's going to come out here. And they're just not going to Fake Out, which was kind of smart. But I'm very happy I was able to get off the Ice Wind. Minus one on both of their speed categories. 
Latias still might be faster than my Bolt. And he's going to calm my boost. That's not that big of a deal. I have a physical attacker in the back end with critical hits. That's not too bad. Flare Butts is going to take out the Nine Tails. And from here, I think I throw... Actually, did I not bring Urshifu? I might have not. I know I brought Lando. But I might have not brought Urshifu. I might have brought Incineroar over Urshifu. Hmm, let's see. No, I brought Urshifu. I did indeed bring Urshifu. Uh, from here, I could just go into Lando, which is pretty good. I know he has Levitate. And I still think I go into this Lando here. They still have Terra, don't they? I know I still have Terra. I 1000% still have Terra. But do they still have Terra? I can actually see here, and they do. We both have Terra here. And I might just go into a Sludge Bomb here. Because I think Incineroar probably Terrasalized, right? I'm going to double down into this thing. I'm going to double down into Incineroar. Incineroar doesn't rock protect, and I believe its moveset is fairly similar to my moveset with knock off, fake out, parting shot. And like Flare Blitz. So he's going to Terrasalize the Lottie. Oh, wow. I'm going to Terrasalize that in a fire. That it works so much better because I have Urshu in the back end. Lovely. Works so good. Unless we're not outspeeding it. So he has a fast Pokemon. Thunderclap going to come through here. Almost take out the Incineroar, which would have been awesome. And Sludge Bomb's gonna finish you off. Like, cool. I like where we're sitting. We know he has Levitate, so I'm not going in with the ground move. And Latias is now just gonna go for a Psy Shock and leave my. Leave my boy on the field. He's gonna leave my boy on the field. Aurora Veil is now gone, and that's pretty much wraps. We'll throw a Sludge Bomb into the Latias slot. And again, we'll go for Thunderclap just in case Latias outspeeds. Thunderclap's still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Huge turns for us. Sledge Bomb should be able to finish this one off. And it does not. Special Defense Boost really helping him out. And they go for another Psy Shock into the Lando slot. I'm soaking all day. I'm soaking all day. We'll spam Sludge Bomb again and Thunderclap. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you guys a 3-0 perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Raging Bolt in the Regulation F format. Hopefully, I did it justice. I feel like I did it justice picking up a 3-0 perfect record and just completely dominating with them. Pairing up Raging Bolt with Ninetales is so perfect to set up the War Veil. And on top of that, you have other Pokemon to kind of pair it up with, with like Incineroar and Amoongus to help get that Combine boost off and just have this thing doing crazy damage. But on top of that, you got Lando, you got Urshu, two perfectly strong Pokemon for a nice little back end support. Kind of like we showcased in that third match, bringing out Lando to kind of help us clean up the mess and just picking up wins very, very easily with this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.